So, we got Legends coming out tomorrow for College Football 25. And we start off with Vernon Davis. Gotta love. Gotta love Vernon Davis. I don't know. I, that pause was the fact that we already got him in Madden. So I was going to say they're just recycling Legends. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, they're going to do that. Because it's also Madden. I mean, it, it's also an EA game. I don't know. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, 88 speed, 80 strength, 90 catching, 89 catch traffic, 85 spec cast, 87 short route running, 86 mean route running, and 72 run block. I feel like Davis doesn't usually have that good run block. I don't know. He's more of a vertical threat tight end in general. I mean, literally what it says on the thing here. So usually it's not, he's not usually a, like a run block guy. I mean, I, it's not like crazy high, obviously. But I just expected less. 89 speed, 89 acceleration, 88 agility, 89 jumping, 84 play rack, 84 man, 89 zone, and 84 press on this D'Angelo Hall. So, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, then we have Geno Smith with 84 speed, 89 throw power, 87 throw short, 90 throw middle. 87 throw deep, 88 throw in the pressure, 88 throw in the run, and 88 play action. Honestly, shout out to Geno Smith. Because Geno Smith, you know, he played for the Jets, was considered a bust, went to a different couple, went to a couple different teams, was a backup for the Chargers at one point. He just did not look good. Like, he was garbage. He was absolutely trash. Everyone called him a bust. Everyone said he was the worst quarterback, blah, 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 blah. He goes to the Seahawks, completely changes his career around, completely becomes an actual really decent quarterback, takes the team to a playoffs when they were expected to be freaking horrendous, and now, you know, he's a pretty serviceable quarterback. Uh, I believe they won last week. Yeah, they beat the Broncos. So, again, shout out to Geno Smith, man. Turning around the narrative and turning around his whole entire career. Usually quarterbacks, when they get to a point where they're just not really... Either they're considered bust or they're just not really good or whatever the case. Usually they just fall into like, you know, complete darkness and nobody hears from them again. Gino really turned that whole narrative around. So, shout out to Gino Smith. Shout out to the Seattle Seahawks. For finding himself a quarterback and getting and getting paid, he just got paid recently too. So, got some money. Tell me down below your thoughts, guys. I'll see you guys next one. Peace.